Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. I hope you are good and doing well. So today I'm going to talk about the flow, how we can use the flow inside VF page or how to embed the flow in VF page with some example and with the real time data scenario, how we can pass the data from VF page to flow and flow to VF page, something like that. Okay, so if you are new in this channel, so you can subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that every time I upload the new video, so you will be notified. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and share this video with your friends, colleagues. So your subscription really motivate me to bring more content on my channel. If you are new in this channel, so don't forget it to subscribe this. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to open your all. So I just open my over here, you can see this one. So first of all, we have to create the flow. So how to create the flow, just click on this create button in the you know, setup one and click on this flow one. So I want to create a new flow. And after that, I want to use that flow inside the VF page. So just you can create your flow like this. And once you create the flow, now you definitely you can use your flow anywhere as you want. But in this video, we will learn about this flow how we can use inside vf page so just click on next select the template like a screen flow and click on this plus icon under here select the screen and a screen name let's say screen one under this screen i want to display some text let's say the, some static text let's say result and here i can give like some message or greeting welcome to flow in vf page something like that okay you can make it like bold or italic based on your need increase the size of this one center click on done okay after that you can create one resource because i want to you know pass the data from vf page to flow or flow to vf page so just select the variable like that and here let's say where count name so this is my variable and it's a text type it will be taken as input click on done okay let me click on the save and flow name let's say source flow okay click on the save and don't forget it to activate this flow before using inside this flow inside vf page okay so just always make it as activation okay so once you activated this flow now we have to create the visual force page so how we can create the visual for space using developer console vs code there are so many things like standard actions or something like that so for now developer console so just click on this developer console here and once you open this developer console right so you can use this developer console to create any kind of component except lwc right so now it's open the this developer console so once you open the developer console here click on this file new and here in lots of option you can see right so just let me click on this page name it can be anything for now i'm using like source here page name don't give any space click on ok now you can see source flow test dot vfp it means vf page after that you can use predefined tag here you have to use like flow interview and flow okay so under this flow colon interview now you have to pass like name as a string right so name as a string so a string in the name we have to pass the flow name okay in this one so our flow name is just click on this gear icon now you can see the flow name so just copy this api name paste it here okay try to save this control s and once you save it now it will be gone this error right now how we can see the output just click on this preview button and once you click on this preview button you will be see the output welcome to flow in vf page so here you can see but still you can see the classic one so this is the classic ui so how we can change this classic to lightning so we can use this one here under the page right we have another attribute here that is lightning style sheet so so we have to make it as a true if you want to use any slds or lightning style sheet so make it as a true and once you make it as a true now immediately you can see our style will be changed like this here you can see finish button and finish that is lightning and also after that i want to use my variable that is 
account name inside my flow. So how we can use that? So here we have that is pex colon param. So we have to use param name and the param name. So our param name is go to here variable click on this arrow. Now you can see the API name. Just copy this one, paste it here and value here we have to pass the value and how we can get the value so you have to include like a standard controller as a account because right now i'm using account that's why i'm using like account here so under this one we have to use the expression data binding like account dot name so just save this and once you saved it in uh, our record page so how we can see that let me open the account account record page and once you open the account record page now you can open any record as you have so let me open any record that let's say this one and once you open it now i want to add that via page inside this record page so how we can add just click on this gear icon click on this edit object and once you clicked on this edit object now under the page layout we have to use our you know uh, that uh, vf page so just click on this page layout click on this account layout under this account layout scroll down this one you, now you can see the vf page so we have like source flow test you can see this one and you can just drag and drop anywhere as you want so right now i'm using here let's see this one right also you can set up like a width or you know so scroll bar so label something like that or you can increase the width or pixel size let's say 400 okay so it's up to you like this one click on this save button and once you save this page layout now you have to refresh your record page so let me refresh this record page and here we can see also we have to use that variable inside this screen so after that you can print your variable or that is inside this one that is account name so we have to use this one click done make it as a save as save another version activate and then it's automatic sync into that record page open any record as you have so let me re refresh this one and once you refresh this record page definitely you will be see the vf phase with the flow so just click on details now immediately you can see like finish button welcome to flow in vf page and these own things right so now you have to do one thing because we already have one variable in our flow that is where account name i want to capture that name from this record page to uh, flow so how we can do that so just first of all let me check my code so in this code we already closed this flow interview so we have to do one thing just cut this one paste it here like that just save this and once you save this now you have to do again refresh this record and once you refresh it definitely you will be see the record in the record page okay and uh, using the via page and flow so just refresh it now you can see this uh, these our flow inside the via page with the record page as well so finish button welcome to flow in via page and the record name you can see this one you can open any record as you have let's say this when point click on details and here you can see the immediately the name so this is how we can embedded the flow in a vf page using these tricks and uh, that is very helpful for us if you want to integrate or you know embedded any kind of flow using vf page in any record page as you have and pass the data from record page to flow and displaying here okay so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so please don't forget to subscribe my channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys see you again bye bye